Hi everyone, um, so today I decided to make a quick tutorial how to use the simple pixel mapper, the new pixel map that's been added recently. It's um, it's still sort of in the beta uh, beta phase, but um, yeah, you can you can actually uh, follow uh, my tutorial and just learn about a few things about it, how to use it, etc. So. Um, so all I did was I've loaded the simple show file, the one that you can find, uh, it's called Chauvet Demo. So to do this, you press load, like in a setup, you press load, then you go yes, you go to the folder called demos, and you find the show file called chauvetdemo.shw. So after it's been loaded, you can see here, it's the same thing for you. Um, so you all know how to use the, I assume you all know how to use the, the normal effects engine, but I'll show you how to apply it on other, like sort of other fixtures, but using the pixel mapper effects, uh, simplified pixel mapper. Okay, so how to do this? So first of all, you need to know that the simplified pixel mapper relies heavily on the grid. So what it means is basically it needs to know uh, the location of your light in a 2D space in the grid. So with the normal effects, you don't normally do that, but with the pixel uh, with the pixel map, you always need to specify the grid. So where it is. So basically, if you select your group, like in my in my in my uh, in my demo, I'm just, I will show you the group number seven, so which is the Maverick MK2 spots. So normally, then if you click the View Grid button. You will be able to see that the desk thinks that the fixtures are located in the four rows of uh, three fixtures each. Um, what it means is, so normally if people don't know, if you don't know about the view grid option, you would select your fixtures, you'd press add effects, you'll go to pixel mapper, and for example, say line vertical, because imagine that it will go from left to right across these 12 fixtures, you press line vertical, and say intensity. So you're gonna see the effect is doing something like that. And you will be like, what, why it's doing that? Because what you expected it, you expected the whole effect to go from left to right, left to right. So this is all because the desk doesn't know actually the, the correct layout of your fixture. So if I select locate, you'll see they all go from left to right. So this is what we need to teach the system to know that your fixtures are going from left to right in one line. At the moment, this doesn't know that. So we'll select a group, in our case, group seven, we'll press the view grid option. That will bring us into the group. You see, it says group grid layout. So at the moment it's three by four. And what we need to tell it, we're gonna say, no, 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 you're not three by four, you're actually uh, 12 uh, horizontally and one vertically because it's 12 fixtures. So what we need to do here, we need to press set grid size. You specify 12 horizontal is width slash height. So we say horizontal is 12 by one. So it's one vertically, press enter. You're gonna see now you have all your 12 fixtures that go from left to right. So what we do now is we go back to the layout one. The group is selected. If we press add effects, pixel map and say a line vertical. Then it's going to tell us on what attribute you would like to run the effects. And in my case, I just want to run an intensity. You press intensity and you can see your effect is running from left side and it goes all the way to the right. So you may ask, okay, what's the difference between this and you could achieve the same effect with a dimmer effect. So the the pixel map brings you two uh, advantages over the normal standard effects engine, which are the first one is so you can run more than one uh, type, uh, more than one playbacks uh, of the same. Uh, um, sorry, you can run more than one, for example, dimmer effect compared to the standard dimmer effect. So you can run, say, so let's record two playbacks. One of them is going to be this pixel map a dimmer effect that goes from left to right. Yeah, we'll press record here. And now we're going to go direction and we're going to say backwards direction. So you see it goes from right to left and we're going to press record that. 
So now, if I'll press clear, yeah, if I'll raise my playback number one, you can see my playback is going from left to right. But then automatically, if I go to the second playback, I can see two playbacks actually working together. See, I can run this and they will run at the same time as I want. So you can see two playbacks running of the same effects at the same time, which wasn't possible with a normal standard effect. So I'll show you with a standard effect. If you record that with a dimmer effect, let's say we're going to reduce the width to this, and we're going to record here, and then I'm going to do the reverse back so now if i'm gonna raise this playback and at the same time as soon as i raise this playback it cancels the first one it's only second one running this is because the the, the standard effects engine can only run one effect per attribute in our case it's dimmer with a pixel mapper you do not have this limitation so if you run this now you can run the second effect at the same time and the two playbacks can run simultaneously, which is which is which is amazing. And the last uh, advantage that it gives you is if you select your lights, uh, so select the same group, add effects, pixel mapper, line vertical, and you say intensity. You can also have another direction here, which is called bounce. So if you've been looking for the bounce effect for the dimmer, look no further. It is here. So you can record it as a bounce effect and it's going to go bounce from left to right because the bounce option is available for uh, for the pixel mapper. It's not available for the standard dimmer effect. So if you're looking for the bounce, it is here. You can also do, do bounce in the center. So double click, centering, and you have centering bounce. Okay. Again, I... I sometimes use that effect if I want to achieve the bounce. If it's a normal standard dimming where I don't need a bounce, I will just use the standard uh, dimmer effect because it's much, much more powerful. Again, this is the pixel, standard pixel mapper and you can run it. Uh, so the, 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 the options you, you, that works for the, for the pixel mapper would be your effects width, effect size, uh, effect speed and effects uh, uh, crossfade, I believe. The segments and the parts, I believe, do not are not currently supported in the in a simplified pixel mapper. So another option you can run the pixel map on. So as I showed, I showed you only on the dimmer effect, but basically you can run it on to say a uh, line vertical. You can run on tilt, for example. If you run on tilt you're going to see that effect on a tilt like a wave. So you can actually increase the width of your effect and you can have a nice wavy effect. But again, um, you can also run bounce, but it all depends on the speed of the effect and it depends on the quantity of your fixtures. So if you have a small amount of fixtures and you want to do the bounce effect on a tilt, you have to be careful because it's much easier to achieve the same result with a standard uh, effects engine rather than a pixel mapper. Because with a pixel mapper, if you run it, um, if you run it as a bounce effect, it will go, it will, it will start going from left to right, and it will not be able to finish it, and will start going. Uh, from right to left. This is where the bounce effect is a little bit uh, tricky to run. So if I want to achieve more or less the bounce effect on the tilt, I would then change the effect width to the, some smaller number, then you can see it actually apply it properly. Again, play with that and I hope it, it made sense for you and I hope it was useful. So uh, and there's going to be obviously less questions to ask about it. Um, so yeah, go ahead and try it and play with the color effect, etc. So think about it. It's the same pixel map as you have, and but it's just more simplified. Again, if you want to have more advanced options for the pixel mapper, you'll have to use the full pixel mapper. This has been done as a sort of quick uh, apply effect. Select the lights, apply effect, done, running. So. If you want to do this, again, I will remind you, always first make the grid. 
So select the group, make a view grid, and for, for the uh, simplified pixel mapper, you have to use the group grid. Because if you're using, if you need, to, if you want to run it across, um, if you run it for the full pixel mapper, then you don't use the group grid. You have to use the encoder wheel A, go to the normal grids. You see where it says group, uh, it says grid, and use the normal grid. The normal grid is for the full pixel mapper, and the group grid, like these grids, are for the are for the simplified pixel mapper. Okay. Hope it was useful for you. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for more videos that will be uploaded soon about the magic queue and also the quick queue. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.